look, if I get close, you can see that. Right, 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 right. Oh yeah, see, I am getting some goodies. Hi everyone, you can see I don't have any makeup on, though my skin, I think my skin's doing pretty good with the sunscreen glow. I am heading to Manhattan Beach, California to go see Dr. Nina Desai. If you don't know her, she's been on our channel several times. She's a good friend of mine. She is a board certified dermatologist and she's been taking care of my skin my melasma specifically. We've been going really slow with the treatments and uh, whenever I'm in Los Angeles, I've been trying to see her. So I think today I'm gonna go get VI Peel. I have Anna in the driver's seat, making sure that uh, that we're safe as we head over there so that I can actually film this. But yeah, we're gonna go, go get a treatment done and I'm gonna take you guys with me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply the peel, then we're gonna go in and we're gonna do your toxin, and then we'll go and we'll go in with another pass of the peel. Perfect, I'm gonna wash my face. I got some CeraVe on. The first step is just to put a little bit of aquaphor near the creases of the face, just to protect the most delicate skin from the chemical peel. So corners of the mouth, corners of the eyes, and corners of the nose. The next step is to degrease the face. Now this is going to smell a little bit and it's going to tingle just a little bit because it's acetone. Everybody always says acetone in the comments. Yep, exactly. What? So peels actually sit and work better on the skin if you've completely degreased the face. They are applied more evenly that way. So this step is actually a really important part of chemical peels. Is it bad for the face? No, we don't use it very consistently. So right. I guess if we were like, we're trying to, trying to clean our faces up. With, every day with it, obviously, yeah. So the next step is the actual peel. So this peel is really specific for pigmentation. So the combination of acids really help to brighten the skin, exfoliate the skin, and break down pigmentation. So in this peel, we've got salicylic acid, vitamin C, retinoic acid, and because it's specific for brightening and pigmentation, there's also kojic acid and hydroquinone in there. How's that feel? Good, I can feel like a start of a tingle. Okay, but not bad, right? No. Okay, now I'm gonna let all of this dry for a few minutes, and then we'll do your toxin. I wish I would have done this sooner. I was always so scared that it was gonna burn more. It's stingy, don't get me wrong. It's not It's not like a walk in the park, but I expected it to be so much more painful. So this is the neurotoxin that we're gonna be doing today. We picked Juvo for Susan. She's had Botox, she's had Dysport, she's had ZMN. Might Let's well try, try something out. different, yeah. right? We are going to be treating around her eyes. And what we discussed previously was basically that we like to treat very mildly around the eyes. We don't wanna overdo it around the eyes because that can kind of change the way you smile. So in order to give her the most natural, beautiful look, which she always has, we are going to just put a few units around the eyes and soften the crow's feet. And for this area, I am gonna use hyper dilute Botox. We are gonna inject her neck and we're gonna work on these necklace lines or these horizontal lines. By using a hyper dilute Botox, injecting it very, very superficially, we can really soften the necklines. When you say hyper dilute, like it's not as strong of a- Exactly. Botox. We dilute dilute it down so that it's not as strong and then we inject it more superficially so it really works on skin texture as opposed to freezing the muscles. That's really cool. Okay. So lift your brows all the way up for me. So Susan has one brow that moves a little bit farther up than the other. Everyone's got muscles that work slightly differently so all we're doing is just putting one tiny unit into where that muscle works just to soften that okay. little arch. By the way, I go no uh, numbing because I'm hardcore like that. <laughs> and now we're just putting a few units around her eyes to smile real big for me. By the way, you guys, I'm headed to the airport right after this. <laughs> you know, loves when I do this. I know. Ocular muscles are a circular muscle, and when you smile, you get a little bit of fine line creation right under the eye, so I like to relax that portion of the muscle with just one tiny unit under the eyes. So now we're just working on her platysmal muscles, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna soften the jawline. Go E for me. So everyone has really strong neck bands or platysmal bands, and what these bands do is they pull down on our jawline, so if we can relax the platysmal bands, we can really contour the jawline. This is very a very flattering angle for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is also called the Nefertiti lift. Oh, I've heard that. Mm -hmm.
So one of the things I love about the VI peels is that this comes with a whole post care kit. There's a little bit of work for you to do for the next 48 hours in terms of, you know, helping the peel do what it's supposed to do. But after that, it's really easy, just some post care cream and some sunscreen. So you can expect kind of like a snake shedding its skin. Oh, like it's so gonna be an intense peel. It's gonna be a peel. Yeah, so it typically starts day three. And oftentimes a lot of clients will notice that the peeling starts around the mouth and then slowly works its way to the rest of the face. And it will kind of go through waves over the next three to seven days after that. And then pretty much by day seven, you're done peeling. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. But it should be a nice peel. All right. Well, thank you very much. It's so good to see you. Thanks for letting me do this right before a flight. Uh, you are welcome. <laughs> okay. So you can see in the sunlight that I'm just kind of red. I bruised a little bit. I suspect it's because of me because I haven't gone to go get my like labs done lately. And this like deep, this is like stuff that if you've been following me for a while, you know that I have like my autoimmune stuff and everything. And I'm usually like really low on certain vitamins and stuff. So that's, that's what I assume some of my bruising is. Anyway, this is what it looks like right now. It doesn't feel bad. It's actually still on my skin. And I didn't realize this. You have to wash it off four hours later and my flight is exactly four hours. So I might have to actually wash my face on the airplane. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm gonna do this. Nina was like, you're gonna have to remove it. You can't just like leave it on your face. It's still on my skin and it's starting to feel tight just so you know, but it doesn't feel bad, was not painful at all. Just a little stingy, like a little like, you know, like you're using some acids or something on your skin. And that was not bad at all. You know, I'm gonna have all these like little marks for a little bit, but it's worth it if, you know, I could get those bands to soften up. Excited to see the results and I'll keep you guys posted. Now I'm headed to the airport. So it has been a little more than 24 hours. I'm putting on lip balm even though I'm about to wash my face because this is making my face and my lips just feel so dry. Even though it wasn't done to my lips, you just feel so like, like it's just sucking everything out of you. So I got the treatment done yesterday, which was Friday. It is now Saturday around 9 p.m. And my skin feels really, really tight. Like I said, like really dry, really tight. And I can, I can kind of feel how this peeling process is gonna start. If you actually look closely, you can see around my nose, I'm starting to peel a little bit already, but actually my skin doesn't look terrible. I do have a lot of a tinted sunscreen on just because I kept slathering it on all day. I didn't wanna you know, mess with my skin and not protect it. If you don't know, because I didn't know, when you get the VI peel, it actually has um, some instructions with it. It actually comes with this whole pack of stuff that you're supposed to be using to take care of your skin, which actually I really appreciate because sometimes you don't really know what to do with your skin post-treatment. So this really spells it out for you. So it comes with a really gentle cleanser. It comes with a post-treatment repair cream. And it also has a sunscreen SPF 50 broad spectrum. I appreciate that. I'll say also the cream is important because it has 1% hydrocortisone in it. So if you start to get itchy, which I did notice a little while ago, I started to get a little bit itchy now that it's getting tighter. So it's nice to have that cream as well. It comes with a few of these kinds of packets. So basically you leave the doctor's office, you leave it on for four hours, then you have to go in, you have to wash your face, you have to get it all off of your skin because it's actually just sitting on your face. And then there are these little packets that you have to use. So you wipe your face off with this packet, which has these ingredients. It's got alcohol to help it absorb. And then there's ascorbic acid and retinoic acid. They don't give the percentages. That's what Nina said. She was like, you know, it's proprietary information. So they don't tell you exactly how much of it is in there. But so you wipe yourself with that. That. It says to wait 10 minutes. I'm not quite sure why, but it wants you to let it dry down. And then you go in with the cream afterwards. And then obviously sunscreen if it's still daytime for you. Then later on, before you go to bed, this was actually a mistake I made. I was so exhausted when I landed. I just wanted to go to bed, but then I stayed up. I went and watched some TV with my husband. I ate some dinner. I just kind of like forced myself to like not go to sleep. And right when I was ready to go to bed, I went to go read the instructions. This is yesterday. And it says one hour before bedtime, you have something to do. And I was like, oh God. I wish I had read this. It's totally my fault for not just reading it. Like I read the first part and just assumed there was gonna be something very similar for the second part. But so the second part, you actually have to do it an hour before because what you do is you cleanse your skin and then you go in with this other towelet. And this actually has hydroquinone in it. It has ascorbic acid, it has retinoic acid, and it has kojic acid. So it's kind of like a continuation of the VI peel. I, again, we don't know the percentages, but it has very, very similar ingredients to what's in the original peel. It could be exactly the same thing. So you have to actually wash your face, then use this towelette on your face, and then you have to let it sit for 30 minutes. And I didn't 
realize this. So I was super exhausted last night. I read these instructions and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be up for another hour, which I was and I regretted that. But I did it because I'm a good student and I follow the rules, at least when it comes to those kinds of directions. And then today, the next day, what you have to do is you wake up, wash your face, and then you put your repair cream on again and then you put on your sunscreen. Tonight, I have to go through that whole process again before bed. So I'm not gonna make the same mistake tonight. I'm gonna do it right now. It's only like 9 p.m. so I know I'm not going to bed anytime soon but I'm assuming they tell you one hour just because they don't want you to you know do what I did last night. All right so I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face but instead of using the cleanser that they sent home it's really just a gentle hydrating cleanser does a pretty good job but today I'm wearing a little bit of tinted sunscreen. I do have some mascara on which is the other reason why I'm gonna switch up my cleanser tonight and I'm gonna go in with this from my brand Naturium. It's our Multicom cream cleanser. I love this cleanser. If you have not tried it and you like cream cleansers. This is such an amazing one. It's great now that we're heading into winter as well. If your skin starts to get dry, if it's sensitive, if you're doing treatments like this, if you are trying to get used to a really strong active, like, you know, a retinoid or something, it's a great cleanser. I'm going to go ahead and use it. I'm actually going to start on dry skin, just like I would with an oil-based cleanser, because I really want to make sure I just get all of this off. So this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna use this to cleanse my mascara. That's why I went in on dry skin. I'm gonna add a little water. I just want you guys to see this. I'm gonna see. You can actually emulsify that cleanser too. So it works really well. It's gonna get everything off. It's gonna get my mascara off and it's really gentle. I'm gonna put some lip balm on really quick because the peel tastes kind of nasty if you get it onto your lips. So now I have to go in with this peel. After I put it on my skin, I have to wait 30 minutes. Then I have to go in with this one. Then after 10 minutes, I have to go in with the repair cream. So I will do this one first, the white one. I'm gonna use this. It says to gently swipe it on your skin. Ooh, that alcohol. Whenever I do a peel, because it has alcohol in it for absorption, my eyes are so bloodshot. She did my neck. I'm gonna bring it down to my neck also. I am gonna go hang out for 30 minutes and I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so it has been 30 minutes. I'm gonna go in with this one now. This is the VI Peel Post Peel Towelette. This is the one that has ascorbic acid and retinoic acid. None of this gets rinsed off either. Ooh, that's alcohol smell. You gotta like hold your breath while you do this. Close your eyes, cause it's so strong. And now I have to wait another 10 minutes before I can do any other skincare. Okay, good morning, day three, and the peeling has begun. Just right here in this little area. My skin is super, super tight also. I can tell the skin is ready to go. And I wanted to show you the peeling because I haven't even washed my face or anything. All I've done is brush my teeth and have some breakfast today. And I felt like I should show this to you before I wash my face because once you start to wash your face, at least in my experience, it starts to peel off a little bit. Like as you're washing your face, it actually starts to come up a little bit in your hands and everything. A note, if you get big pieces of skin flaking off, you are not supposed to peel it off. You're supposed to let it come off by itself. If you get really big pieces that are fluttering and they're bothering you, you cut the pieces that are already off, but you do not pull it. And the reason for that is because you could potentially pull it and your skin's just not ready for that yet. And that could actually cause some scarring or hyperpigmentation. And obviously that's what you're trying to get rid of. So don't do that. All right, I'm gonna wash my face. Gonna go in with this. You know, the reason why you wanna use a hydrating cleanser or a nourishing moisturizing cleanser, I personally don't like when your skin gets so, so dry and then it starts to peel like a snake because I feel like one, that is so uncomfortable no one likes it. You look like a freak. I know for some people it's really satisfying, but two, I think it's that potential of irritating your skin more. You're more likely to pull on it and potentially start more hyperpigmentation and issues with your skin. So I just like to keep my skin really, really nourished, really, really hydrated, really, really moisturized. And yeah, it's not as satisfying. I don't get all these like big flaky pieces of skin, but I'm much more comfortable this way. And it makes, it just makes it so much easier in my opinion. So I will update you if I get better peeling, but I highly doubt I will. You better believe I'm going to keep my face hydrated and moisturized. I just washed my face, it's still day three, and I just want to show you it's starting to spread. But see, this is what happens when you keep your skin really hydrated and moisturized. It's not that uncomfortable, gross feeling. It's like, if I just touch it, see, it's like still hydrated. It's not gross. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put more moisturizer on. I just wanted to show you that. Keep it hydrated, keep it moisturized. It's not as uncomfortable when you do that. And it will peel, but it's not going to be as satisfying as a snake peel. I mean, still peeling like a snake. Look at that. Ew. Let's see what it looks like tomorrow. Okay, so it is day four. I just got out of the shower. 
You can see it's a little bit red right there. It feels a little irritated right there. And it's because I think it's the side I sleep on and I think my I just kind of kept rubbing it, you know, like on my pillow. So I think that that's why it feels a little bit irritated. I kind of don't even want to put lotion on it, but I'm going to because it's not gonna feel good. Um, it's starting to look like I have hickeys here, which is always fun, but I want to show you in the shower, I could really feel my skin peeling. Like this is gonna start going that way. This one, oh, there it is. See, you can see it's gonna really, it's like really starting to peel up. Of course, again, because I keep my skin hydrated and moisturized, it doesn't look so like gross, I guess, but this part right here, I think from rubbing all night long while I was sleeping, you can even see that redness. I'm a little worried about that. This is a reason why you don't want to peel the skin off too soon because that can happen. And that was not on purpose at all. I definitely do not peel my skin, but that happened. I'm just gonna go ahead and use some hyaluronic acid. I'm gonna keep it really, really simple, basic, just to get some hydration and nourishment to the skin and then put on moisturizer. I'm gonna avoid that little area where I know it's gonna just sting because it's irritated right there. Oh yeah, the skin feels so weird, almost like I'm putting it on jerky or something, it's so gross. And then I'm gonna go back in with my moisturizer. I am gonna go on that part a little bit just because I think it needs some moisture, but it's not gonna feel good. I'm gonna put some Aquaphor on that, cross my fingers, and I will keep you guys updated throughout the day because I think this is gonna be like the main peely day. By the way, I went and got dressed really quick and realized I didn't tell you if I'm wearing sunscreen or not. It is completely dark out right now, which you know happens a lot here in Miami. The UV index, I checked it, it's like one. So I'm probably not going to wear sunscreen unless I decide to leave the house today just because I wanna be able to keep applying, especially right there, the Aquaphor I'm treating this like if it's a wound that's kind of how you should treat it if your skin feels a little bit irritated but I am going to probably avoid the Sun today there's basically no Sun the UV index is at one this is how I decide in my head if I'm gonna wear sunscreen or not most days I will apply my sunscreen even with a UV index of one just because I like for it to be part of my routine and I don't get out of that routine but today I'm making a very conscious effort not to put sunscreen on because I don't want it to irritate this area and I want to be able to keep applying aquaphor especially to that area you can see even as that moisturizer dried down, how these little parts are starting to really come up. I'll keep you guys updated though. Okay, day four, nighttime. Right before I'm about to go to bed, this is where I'm at. You can see that peeling really is going from the center out. I look a little bit like a, see, look if I get close, you can see that. Oh, there's my hair also. Right, 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 right. See, I am getting some goodies. Even with all that hydration, it is really definitely peeling away like this. Just to update you where the peeling is at. I probably have like two more days of this and I'll be fine. I'm not going to peel it. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I can see, ew, creepy. You know all that skin's gonna come up because the way it looks and just go that way. Anyway, I'm just gonna go in with same routine, keeping it simple for the next few days. Multi Calm Cream Cleanser, Neutrium Plant Ceramide Rich Moisture Cream, and then topping it with the Marshmallow Root Barrier Balm. And if I really need it, Aquaphor in the really sensitive places. Okay, it is day five, Wednesday. So five days after my chemical peel. And I just wanna show you, most of the peeling is done. I still have bruises from the Botox, it was Juveau, which is why I don't wanna call it Botox, cause it's actually different brands that we use. But I just wanna show you, just put on a uh, Notarium Dew Glow sunscreen. I put hyaluronic acid before, then I put the sunscreen just because I wanna be really hydrated and moisturized. My skin's looking pretty good. This is what it looks like this morning. I'm getting ready to go work out. I'll wait a couple more days just to see if anything else happens with my skin. But so far, I'm really happy with the results. That was a really painless process, really, when it comes to chemical peels. That was really easy to deal with. I'm liking the results so far. So I'll, I'll check back in one more time in like a couple days, and then we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so it has been six days since I got my chemical peel, my VI peel, and I'm really happy with the results. I have a little bit of sunscreen on from this morning, but that's it. I'm about to go get ready to hang out with my kids. You can see I still have bruising. This is all from that Nefertiti neck lift that she did with Juveau, which is kind of like another form of Botox, it's another neurotoxin. This doesn't always happen. It does suck, but you guys can see it takes like a week, week and a half for these to really go away. But besides that, I love everything that's happening. I can also see, you know, that it's like kicking in right now. But as far as my VI peel, I'm pretty happy with it. That was like a very pain-free experience. It felt very easy. Six days later, I mean, even yesterday, I felt like it looked pretty good. I didn't wear any makeup yesterday. I'm gonna go put makeup on right now. I'm really into it. I really am. If you guys have any questions about VI peel, I'll probably get it a couple more times because it's winter time now. This is when you see the best results is when you get it done every like six weeks, two months. You wanna let your skin heal and really see the effects of the process 
this and then you go in for another treatment. You do the same thing, you let it chill out, then you get it again. So I'll probably get it about two more times this winter, but yeah, I'm really happy with the first one. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments below. Follow Nina Desai, Dr. Nina Desai, if you don't already. You can find her on social media. You can also find her at her dermatology practice in Manhattan Beach, California. I'll leave all the information in the description box below. Find me on Instagram. I'll keep you updated on all of this too on Instagram, so follow me there. I'm also on TikTok. If you're a TikTok person, follow me there. Anyway, but thanks for following on this journey and I'll talk to you guys soon.